Hey y'all! Welcome back! Hey. We're back for another episode. Woo. Y'all see the new setup? Y'all see the new yeah. setup? Y'all like, see the view? Come on now. We're in downtown. Where did y'all the think? Vibes. Y'all thought we was never gonna smoke ever? The vibe. They really thought that we was yeah. not gonna Honestly, smoke ever again. I've been reading them comments. It's they thought it was over. <laughs> Today we brought y'all some new scenery, so let us know what y'all thinking about it in the comments down below. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe. Um, we almost did We're almost at 20K. We just hit 100K on the first, first episode. episode. 102. Oh, 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 102 on our first episode. Yeah. Bow. Bow. Yeah. Bow, bow, bow. 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 Give it Where is that from? Give it a bow. Back. A bow, bow, bow. That's oh, that's poor minds. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> they do do that. Yeah, they do. <laughs> a bow. A bow. A bow, bow, bow. Okay, okay, well, okay, let's okay. Not do it. Let's keep it for you. <laughs> Bitch. We gotta get, we need our own like jingle. Yeah, yeah like a little lingo, something. <laughs> okay. <laughs> not so that. Highly <laughs> official. You know how we roll. Oh, my, you think got somebody to make highly our intro song singing? Official. I think we should go Maybe we should do like a boo. That's what I'm saying. We like, should get a boo and do it yeah. ourselves with a little yeah. auto tune. Yeah. Oh my yeah. god! Let it fly, I can sing. Let it fly. We can really go to a studio. I can sing. Our own we could get a studio set. Y'all remember when we were singing? Exactly. Yeah. I can sing. We really need that singing, so exactly. we all do that. We really yeah, need to make yeah, our yeah. jingle. We only need it to be like, be 10, like seconds. exactly. So highly it's official, hot. you know how and I know we be. Yeah, you could rap. I'm a sing. We really need to do that. Yeah, we don't gotta be in the studio forever. It's nothing to book a studio session. That's a one night thing. Let yeah. some yeah. Yeah. Let us know what y'all want the jingle to be. Yeah. Comment down, it comment down some um, lyrics or if y'all are <laughs> writers or anything like that, DM us. Email this us. is my time mm. to motherfucking chart. Bow. Leave <laughs> mm -hmm. bow. Mm. For them. How are y'all feeling today? Honestly, today for me, I'm not gonna cap. It's just, it just was a, a really rough morning. Mm -hmm. yeah. But we bought to smoke, we bought to drinks. So I feel like I'll be able to just whoosah a little bit, talk to my girls. And yeah, I'm feeling like. I'm joking. Honestly. <laughs> but no, I'm ready to get this episode out, out the way and do what we do and chit chat with the girls, catch up and see how everybody's feeling. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, I'm good. I woke up good. I'm good. I'm honestly pretty sketchy today, too. I think I broke my foot kicking a man last night. Um, mm -hmm. Too bad it wasn't you kicking him out. It actually was. I did both. Oh, okay, good. I'm I kicked him in the shin and I kicked him. That was that was a little shade. I, I didn't well, what was all the kicking for? I don't know. If he was still like here we today. We were at a party. Oh. oh, he came. Oh, so he, he went stuff. with you to the party. Yes. Oh. We went to the party. After he complained. Yeah. Yeah. So, he's so really why does crazy he still want to be around you after he got kicked? He's. He loves me. I was about to say no. He literally said like he, that's the love of his life. Oh, he's delusional. Like I'm not even like. Have y'all calls me every time he's over there and he tells me. Have y'all? Yeah. Oh, that's recap, a topic recap. for another day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what y'all <laughs> sipping on today? Courtesy of me, actually. I need everybody in here to be like, thanks, Peyton. Courtesy of Peyton. This I is some the yeah. fucking uh, tequila. Is tequila. Mm -hmm. Y'all don't even judge me. I got tequila and like in a here. peach Bellini ball or something. I got yeah. a mango Bellini and I got soda. Shout out to Des. She um she actually gave us some little ornament balls. She was like, oh, for your Shout podcast. Shout out to Des. Des be coming through. She seems like Des. a sweet girl. She I wish y'all nice. would meet her. I love her. Yeah, I haven't she met has, her. She's really yeah. good. She seems cool. One day we gonna get her on the podcast before she go to Miami. Mm -hmm. Um. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we got some tequila. A Honestly, concoction. I made a little concoction today now too. Now that I twirled it, it tastes better. Now. No, right, the margarita. Really? I'm not. Did gonna you you nasty. pour juice in it? I poured. No, I didn't pour juice. I had soda in there already, y'all. Don't judge. Ugh. I want. Okay. Yeah, that shit nasty. Yeah. <laughs> but the syrup is strong. <laughs> like. Yeah. That syrup I taste is the so syrup strong. More than I taste the liquor. Yeah. Oh, okay. Can we spark? <laughs> Yeah, we're not okay. there yet. We're not there yet. Can we do the collab first out the way? Yeah. Oh. yeah. Okay, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm perfect. I'm not sure you can eat, but not over here. And don't eat on mm -hmm. the podcast. Yeah. Yeah. No, you was thinking about it. Yeah, that's yeah. why. <laughs> yeah. yeah, when I said, when I said <laughs> up in here, I mean on this show. Nobody no. wants to hear you crunching no, 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 no. in HD. I'm pretty sure y'all going to get a cookie by episode 12 or something. I'm just going to be eight because this is ridiculous. We should do much. like an eating oh. episode, though. Oh, my God. No, oh my God, don't I forgot start to that. People don't do that. You We can be different. You don't do that on a DM podcast. Then they really gonna I'm be like, like We're you got the perfect that. big bitches to be on the podcast. They would love that. They would love that. 
for y'all really enjoyment. Th- y'all don't know how much people really enjoy seeing I'm this. I'm just eat. gonna start really taking the time, an uh, extra hour, to give me some food before this. Type exactly. Of stuff now I, I can't at this point. I could have exactly. brought my lunch if I knew we had a microwave. So this video is sponsored by Protect Our Baddies. Ooh, ooh. Shout out to Protect Our Baddies. Shout out, Shout out to y'all. They sent us a that's the whole get down with the get down. Like if you try to get down with me, you gonna be on the ground. You know what I'm saying? Like they they did it up. They really did it up. Period. Um, we have so much shit. I don't even know where to start. start We're gonna start do a little with, mini unboxing. Start with the keychain. Let's see what's in the keychain. Let's all unbox one thing. No? Okay, yeah. Okay. Um, Why I have two flashlights? I, give one to Kate. Oh, oh, oh well, you, you can have two. Oh yeah. You think, you, gonna, you think you're gonna assault me while I'm combing my hair? Go <laughs> <Cut> compartment. <laughs> This okay, wait, she didn't even finish the intro. <laughs> okay, I don't want it's really shout out to protect our baddies. Oh, just, they know that they the have some baddies on their hand and we have to stay safe. Um, they sent us a whole little kit for real, for real. It came with this nice little postcard that just says, real baddies keep other baddies safe. Yeah. Period. Period. And we introduce you to our new essential. So we starting off with the keychain. This keychain, y'all. That on. shit is cute as fuck. No, because, hold on. It it's has so everything much, in it. First of all, the packaging need. is really cute. I love. Oh, with the puff ball? Yeah. Can yeah. I have that? No, mm. I like it. Oh, look at the little. Okay, you got a puff ball. I want this. I don't want the puff ball. I want that Ooh, puff thing. Oh, this is one. Of, I'm not going to take it out because it's really loud, but this is that thing where you take it out and it's and like an alarm. It beeps. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it's like also a little flashlight. Um, These are some what? Knuckle brass? Oh, bitch. I thought that was the beer bottle opener. Bitch, what the is that going to protect? Dumb. That yeah. looks like you could open the <laughs> bottle with the rest of those. No, girl, I'm gonna open your eye. Fuck around. No, that looks like Find you out. could open. I think you just squeezed your fingers in there. Mm-hmm. That's literally for no, bottle. No, this is a knuckle. Like, yeah, it's like a knuckle. So thing. she can give you a knuckle sandwich. So she can stab you either while way. I punch you. Do it this way too. I think it's a knuckle sandwich and a bottle opener. No, I promise you, it's not. What part it's of not a bottle is opening a bottle? What is what? what is a bottle opener protect? You know, you just get the little soda from the Sorry, taco y'all. truck Sometimes and you just no, pop no, it open. No. Oh, okay. Anyway, that like mace. That. They gave us some pepper spray, some mace. So we can spray Ooh, a bit. what's this? I like that. That's what I want. That looked like a butt plug. <laughs> oh, so that's what you're going to use it for? <laughs> yep. Yeah. Yeah, you don't need it. Oh, yeah. my God. I think it's to poke the glass. <laughs> I think it's for like the window, right? Yeah, the window. Like to break a window. Bitch, I'll stab somebody with that shit. Oh, I love these. This is a seatbelt um, thingy where you like, if you ever get oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I want that. Um, Protect yeah. your baddies. Can we all get one one next time? Yeah. Yeah, yeah this shit is cute as fuck. We like right? everything that you gave us. we have to split these amongst ourselves and I'm jealous. Yeah. Yeah. We got this flashlight. <laughs> I'm trying. Do you put like all like? Do you take it like which one you want, or do you put this whole thing in your keychain? This is I wouldn't heavy. put all that on my keychain. I just think it's cute as a yeah. Accessory. I feel like you take them off and just pick one. Yeah. Or do you just keep this whole thing in your purse? You can keep I would it in just your purse. It in my purse. It looks like, it look like you wouldn't know. Like you just holding it, it look like some regular keys. If I was walking through the parking lot, I would put my key, my real keys in my purse and pull those out. Yeah. Like, yeah. You feel me? That's like, like yeah. the perfect little compa- contraption. Yeah. Like, like if you, you walk in late at night and you want to feel safe, because you know we're women. Yeah. So it's important for us to value our safety. And y'all like the name so for the um. I like the name that they have for their yeah. thing. Protect, protect our baddies. baddies. That's so cute. Like she know we baddies. Baddies and. You know, oh, us women, not we're the, like not targets baddies in a like way. The, the Zeus show. Yeah, y'all like know them, real baddies. them white vans yeah, be they'll be pulling like, up everywhere. Y'all need to audition for baddies. Trying to grab people. No. Yeah, so when people say y'all they need, need to, to get y'all a baddie keychain and keep, stay safe. Yeah. So make sure y'all click the link in the description box and go get some Protect Your Baddies merchandise and gear Bye. so y'all can stay safe. I really, no, I'm really feeling the comb. I like, really want the, this. No. The comb? You got a rock, paper, scissors. No, I already got it. I'm not rock paper scissors Called with y'all. It. Who says I'm giving it to you? You just said it. You <laughs> heard, I heard you earlier. So it sounds like we all just need to get. Our I need that for my job. Thing. Fine. Yeah, this, okay. is, this is really cute. I'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> with it for sure. <laughs> Thanks, um, protect I don't know our baddies. Who, who, who finna battle for this? But that's fine. I don't want the whole thing. I just want that seat. Belt. I want that little poke thing. The little poker one. Okay, Which I just want the puff ball. Just the puff. Thanks, okay, y'all. and the pepper spray. Okay. It, if nobody's mm-hmm. taking the keychain, I will. Oh, the keychain, the little actual thing is cute too. The protect our baddies. What is yeah. your, what is y'all's? Okay, That's I'm good. about to go. I got a smartphone oh. stun device. What yeah, the hell? okay, we got me a little iPhone I want 4. That. Okay, okay. And it come in a little case. Let me stand, let me stun you. What? This is the trap phone. But- but, the back, so where do you yeah. where's the thing at though? You see. probably gotta press it. Right oh no, it worked. Okay, that's a flashlight. Okay, but how you stun? Maybe the other button. The iPhone. It's the zap. Okay, be careful how you point it. Bow. Hold on. Ah-ha. Oh no, I see it red. It's red. Go. 
Oh, now she's gonna drop it. You dumb. Oh my god. You're an this idiot. idiot. You no, I didn't know it was gonna <laughs> like sizzle like that. So my what <laughs> sizzle? There's no sizzle. <laughs> the sound. <laughs> Do it. Uh, I need that. Yeah, Woo! this is cute. Okay, I'm okay. Ready, I got a flashlight. I got two flashlights. Well, this one is shaped like a little car key, so that's I guess. Cute. Yeah. And it's a um, Ferrari. It's a Ferrari. That's like, a flashlight? Yeah, oh yeah, that's cute. So cute. Oh, that's oh, yeah. cute. That's cute. I want that. Okay. No, these are mine. That's a stun gun, too. You have the keychain. No, this ain't no stun gun. It says it right there. What's a stun gun? That thing in her hand. Oh, this? Oh, oh. then yeah. I want that. Okay. Who I wants that one? This one. Okay. Okay. Hey, the then what? By the closest a car I'm going to get. <laughs> oh, bitch. <laughs> JK, they little jokey jokes. <laughs> little <laughs> jokey jokes. You know Kayla, jokey joke. You know Kayla like to joke. So, um, Peyton, what you get? This is definitely a Porsche. I got the bow, comb stabber. Bop, bop, bop. That is super cute. I think that's so cute. Nobody will even think. You're not about to catch me off guard. I'm right. like, you're going to be rushing here like, bah! bitch say something, bitch, huh? I, yeah. I snip a hoe. Yeah. Snip, snip, hoe. Shout out to Protect Our Baddies. Thank you so much for sending us Thank all this you. stuff. Thank you so much. We're definitely going to put it to good use. Make sure you click that link I'm in the description. I might What's fuck around that? and buy something else from yeah. their website. Yeah. Yeah. They got cute so, little shit. Yeah, they sent us one so we, the here. other three of us could buy it. And I'm I'm, I'm definitely going to put my purchase in. Yeah. Why am I stuttering? That's what you do. Mm. I, I um, stutter. Yeah. Y'all, we yeah. here so we can smoke for y'all. Like, we... Bow, bow. And if we drop some shit on this carpet, we gotta pay for it. Yeah. So make so. sure y'all donate down below. Yeah. Not donate, like. <laughs> pay them, please. We're not a charity. Wait, can we talk about the donations? Yes, we are. No, I'm not. I'm not charity. <laughs> I, we Let's talk about the donations, please. I definitely. And appreciate... I'm gonna leave this in here so y'all can see, read the comments. I definitely appreciate any donation. It was just the GoFundMe I wasn't gonna do. I didn't say do a GoFundMe. No, you did. No, I said. Donor box or page. Did she not say GoFundMe? I didn't see GoFundMe. I never no, said GoFundMe. I asked. Oh, GoFundMe. Because I, she said make a page, and I'm like, you want us to make a GoFundMe? I yeah, I'm like, oh my god, GoFundMe is crazy. But the yeah, definitely all. We definitely we everything that we everything you see here is us putting in our hard earned money. So for you, for, for y'all, for y'all entertainment. So we really, 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 really appreciate any donations that y'all could give. You know, even just a like and a comment and subscribe is enough. But you yeah. know, I think other than that's that, what we, we really need. We appreciate it so much. Donating to us is like extended support, but we're not requiring it. So don't we don't want to make nobody feel guilty if they aren't donating. Like, yeah, don't y'all don't have to. But if y'all want just to support us, yeah, just support us. Like this if, is what we doing. If to that's y'all way that y'all want to support us and make us keep doing shit like this for y'all. Smoking shit, smoking videos. That's how we gonna get these weekly episodes. Yeah, and really, I, really. I, you know what? I know some. Okay, well, I actually said that when we talk about our new year. Okay, okay, okay. Y'all, we about to smoke. You might as well get your little short blend. I just feel like, why do we always have to monitor and filter our words? Because like, YouTube won't pay. I us. don't care how y'all. I've already said this three episodes in now. Y'all can cancel us. <laughs> right in every episode. <laughs> Cancel me. We Cancel are not. Me. We are not about to like censor our entire who we are. Yeah, or I don't want to like, have to be different. I don't like, want to be that. Like, isn't that why y'all attracted yourselves be... to us because we were exactly ourselves. different? We was ourselves. Like, we, we... are ignorant. We yeah, are we so... are ignorant. I apologize that we're ignorant. <laughs> they are ignorant. <laughs> I'm, say, I'm not ignorant. Sometimes the stuff that we say, no, y'all too. Some of the stuff that y'all say. All of us say could oh, be yeah. very Paris, ignorant. Like sure. Paris, you be saying ignorant as shit. All right, y'all. Well, it is a brand new year, it's 2024. It's our golden year. Um, how's everybody's New Year's? How's your holidays? Like, what? What's the I spent theme? the New Year's with my boyfriend and like his friends, family. So it was really chill. It wasn't like I wasn't turned up. I wasn't doing nothing like that. <laughs> I didn't really want to be outside for New Year's like that because like. New Year's is just dangerous. I just feel like it's just a lot of crime that happened. It's a lot of shooting going on. So I just rather just stay real, like, what's the word I'm looking for? Just stay close knit, you know? Yeah. Just not doing too much. I don't want to party. We used to do that. We used to party. We used to do all that. I'm over that now. That Hold was, on. I just my New Year's with my friend, but my New Year's was very, like, I brought my New Year in how I want my year to go. Very calm and peaceful. Like, I wasn't, like, too drunk or nothing. Like, I just, like, really sat and thought, like, like I'm really... Gonna be twenty six this year. Like this is a really new year, and I just, I just have so many like goals. <coughs> okay, okay. Paris, um, I went out New Year's Eve. That was fun. I was gonna go out New Year's too, but 
I got dressed and ended up like falling asleep in my clothes, like dead ass. I didn't make it out the house, so I was asleep during the countdown and stuff. Oh, so you brought in your New Year not saying Happy New Year. You no, were knocked out, asleep. like yeah. Okay, Peyton. Okay, so I'm gonna stir it up the pot right okay, now. Okay, stir it up because I got stir it. Stir I was mad at Kayla and Paris. I knew she was gonna come yeah, in here and say this bullshit. Paris. I have to call Peyton and tell her about it. So me, me and Kayla Girl, already squashed it, you know. But I don't give a damn. I th- I know you don't. I threw a New Year's Eve party and I invited everyone. Right? They didn't come, which is fine. Rihanna told me she wasn't going to come. Paris flaked and didn't say nothing. Bitch, I literally up- said I went out with my clothes. Literally, I had a whole plan. I was stopping by your house, then going to another place, then going home. Bitch, I, I fell asleep. I fell asleep on not just you, but my other friends too. Oh, well. I don't care. And you know why I don't care, guys? Y'all could let me know if I'm doing never. I'm very sensitive. And no, That's I think she is. I think I'm sometimes very sensitive. She's sensitive and sometimes I feel a like, little inconsiderate. No, yeah. I would dead ass be like, okay, she, she, she would be valid. Her reasoning would be valid to me if it was like I went somewhere else and just didn't go to her shit. Bitch, I fell asleep on everybody. Okay. So it's like I, I like don't know where. The reason for being upset is that we, we told her the plan. And it was show. them that exactly. really pressed me. To That's do your it only right reason. Exactly. I wasn't gonna do it. I really wasn't. They were like, "Come on, let's do it." You know, they reminded me like two different times. I'm like, "All right, fine, I'm gonna do it." And they neither of them showed up. And that's why I Come think... Come on now. Am I really being dramatic? Okay. Let so when I yeah. heard the story, because Kayla called me too to vent, and I was like, okay, let me go see what's on the close friends. And then I was removed, and that's when I texted you, like, what you mad at me for? No, I wasn't mad at you. So, I think that was just me removing you. Okay, so when I heard Kayla's... I think she did it on accident. Okay. When I heard Kayla's point of view, it I, I could understand Kayla's point of view of why she didn't come, you know? We don't have to get into details about that, but I can see that. But then when I started talking to Paris, because I'm like, what's going on, too? I didn't know that y- y'all planned that. Yeah. So I see why you're mad, too. Like, I wasn't going to do this, but you told me to do this, and you don't show up. So I see right. both of y'all's p- viewpoint. I, I, and I told Pey- Peyton, I was like, you have every right to be mad for me not showing, and I wish I could have if my circumstances was different. Yeah. Yeah. But, but see, even No, but even when I told her that, though, she still... My thing is, I stood on what I said. I, yeah, no, my thing is just like, well, if it makes you feel any better, it's not just you. It don't make me feel any better because if you say you understand, then why would you even still include me in? Oh, I'm being, I'm weird, and it's not. I'm, I'm not weird because I even hit you up two days before that I was gonna go. I, I had all intention on going, y'all. My thing is, I if Kayla, if you would have communicated to me, which you said you didn't want to, which is fine. But I did though. I you did after, but you know I what saying, she said. No, she said, well, if you would have told me earlier, I could have planned. I did tell you earlier in that day. I did tell you earlier. That I that the situation and you could have what you say you could have did you could have did it then when I told you I you thought Paris was still coming that's why I didn't but say but when anything. I told you she wasn't answering me that's why I could but then go. Paris started responding like hours later and I'm like okay yeah. we're gonna come together that's oh, why well. I assumed no Paris, she already made a whole yeah, other plan Paris, Paris was by the time that's why I said I was I was going she with made my, other plans I was because going with I, my I, other friend yeah. to your house we were stopping at your house then stopping at the party because it was all in the same area you want me to be in the so, house when you're by myself when she called me I didn't care about like picking up and shit because I she's close to your house it's the fact that she already had other plans far ass plans at that like she already had somewhere to go and shit like well and maybe that's where I'm being overly sensitive why are you making other plans come hang out with me right okay well come pick me and up. then I like that Peyton but you still have fun oh I saw that it's on the blanket still have fun all your friends was there yeah, well, yeah, I want out on your life. But I would enjoy it. I get that. And I, I, told, I get that because for my birthday, I'd be wanting, like, my friends to be there. Like, Okay, don't people. compare this to a birthday. This is not No, I'm, I'm saying, like, in, in general, birthday. like, when I have certain things, it's like certain... I like, y'all are my entertainment. Like, I'd be sometimes be wanting y'all there. And like, even then, too, I was going to vlog. But I the vlog ended up being, like, it wasn't even all that because... That's what I was about to say. She really, wanted us to be there. Exactly. That's yeah. all I can say. Okay. So, if I'm over I'm sorry. Or I shouldn't be mad, my, my bad for having emotions. No, no, you feel the way no. you feel. And I apologize like... for not coming. I did. I did. It things happen, and that's one thing that I really am trying to work on this year is understanding we're grown and we go through real life shit, and things yeah. happen, and some things we just we got to do what we got to do as adults, and it's like we want to make we want to be everything and be there and support, but sometimes we fall short, and it's like you can feel how you feel, very valid, but sometimes it's like at our age, understand why, you know. I understand why. That's why I let it go. But yeah, there will be plenty more times where we're hanging out. We're with you right now. Three days later, we're working. 
Well, you see how our blunt is gone <laughs> and they still have all that? Now you need to roll another one. I have That's because we rolling. We well, we gonna have to good. smoke that other one during this video because this is ridiculous. This is a roach. Y'all are like. That's why it's on the blanket. So y'all um, is just too hostile. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's a lot of hostility. It's a lot in of hostility going on. Let's lighten up the no, mood. Because I, I don't need them the up blanket. in the comments like, oh, they treat Kayla bad and all what that. What did we say? That's what the, that's what we think. But then they see otherwise. They see otherwise. So did we treat Kayla bad today, y'all? I just don't like that. Like, I'm not the 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 sorry pup butter group. Like, let's let's just kill that right there. Well, you be arguing. When I walked in, did I not like? I was I had a, I felt a little way. And she I, felt some type of way. She addressed her issue and and kept it that's, that's what it is. That's what it is. Y'all be thinking Kayla just be be quiet. That's that's just the thing. I feel like they, you know, this this this, this goes right into oh fuck. I was gonna say this goes right with our the next, the next yeah. episode. That's what I was thinking too. But what? fuck, whatever. I was gonna say I like to... they think they know us off of what they oh, see. Oh yeah, that's but social fuck. media. Yeah, that's okay. Perfect. Catch us for the Let's next get in episode they... talking about uh, social media. Social media versus reality. Two weeks. Before. Okay, so today we're gonna talk about the beauty community. All anything regarding beauty community beauty community, gatekeeping, customer service from providers and customers. I just feel like the beauty community is something that just at least in LA, at least in LA, it's just bullshit. It's just bullshit. So, okay. My question is to you guys, do you guys expect a man to pay for your services? If we're- If, if that's my man, together, yes. Yeah. yeah. I, don't I don't expect- I don't expect you to, but I would like you to. Yeah. I don't expect you to pay for every service, but I feel like with you being my man, you will contribute to one of the monthly services. So you can pick one. Eyelashes, nails. You can pick which yeah. one you want. Don't you want your girl to look good? Like, don't you want to feel like, oh yeah, I pay for that set. I don't know. Shouldn't guys feel good about that? I don't yeah. know. Some, <laughs> some, and some some guys like do like do that. that. Like, like, I, I like you in this outfit. It. Let me see. I don't expect it. I don't it. expect it though. It's but true. I would really love for her to like treat me like, you know, you like me to look good, so you know, pay for it. You're an image of him. Yeah. So if you want me to look good, then I mean, I could do it yeah, myself. I ask a nigga like, oh, can you pay for my nails? I've, no, never I've never asked. I've never asked. They've I've done, asked they've done I it. I believe it. <laughs> I've definitely asked before. I can never fix my mouth to ask a nigga for shit. They can't fix their mouth to ask you for some coochie. I never, um. You ate me up with that one. You I ate never, me up. I never asked. They just do it. Yeah, they I just do it. Or they offer. They offer. So yeah, when they, they offer. offer. When guys offer, when, it's when, way better. Yeah, when you offer, I'm going to say, yeah, I'm not going to tell you no. Unless it's something I, like, don't want. Yeah. But if you offer, I'm going to say yeah. I have a father to say yeah. Oh, that's a problem. That's a problem. You already got a problem with asking. Now you got a problem with saying yeah. yeah. Oh, <laughs> you know, you, you ain't going to get no, no, shit. No. Okay, but look, hear me out. My only, my only not... reason why is because I really have this perception that a lot of men do things with the intention of they want something out In of return. it. And I and I'm very big on letting a nigga know that I don't I'm I don't need nothing and I like I don't want nothing from you and you're not going to get nothing from me for doing this. Like See, but that's the thing, because I have talked, we, me and Curry has had this conversation, right? And he has said something like, guys, like, like we can always have that mindset of, um, like, I don't need a nigga for shit. We can have that, but guys want that. Guys want to feel like you need them, you know? And, yeah. and I also agree. I'm yeah, like, well, do. if you, if you don't need, if you act like you don't need them, then, bitch, why are they going to put anything forward? Why they gonna put anything forward? You act like you don't need me. I'm right independent. Hand. Like, so. Because when I was dealing with one nigga, um. Mm -hmm. Yeah, when I was dealing with him, we were saying bleeping. You don't be bleeping, but okay. <laughs> I'm just I'm gonna save you the effort and not even say the name. <laughs> okay. okay, yeah. She was. Um, but when I was dealing with him, he was the first dude that like actually like just catered to me. Like everything mm -hmm. he came every time I lived in the valley. At the time every time he would come to the valley, he would drive to me. We went out to eat, baby. Everything he bought the weed, bought us good weed, backpack boys. You, you know, bought us good weed, and I was like, that was the first time. I'm like, you know what? I like. This. And mm -hmm. ever since then, that's what made me kind of like, I want to do it with a nigga that's going to like treat me right. Like, yeah. And he knew I could do it. Yeah. But he did it. And you know what? We went to Cheesecake Factory for one of our restaurants. Let me tell you, because you know that list that was on Instagram about places yeah. to go and yeah, shit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But let me tell you, I told him, we was just talking one day and I told him, like, Cheesecake Factory, I love Cheesecake Factory. And then we went, to, uh, we went to go get breakfast. It was closed. And then we ended up at Cheesecake Factory. That means you listened. And I love that. Like, okay. Yeah. But then he was a dog. So. Yeah. Then he turned out to have a whole. So, yeah. <laughs>
doing but, all that, but it don't matter. Yeah, that so, was crazy. That's, and that's why you can't be afraid to ask men for nothing because you don't really ever know. I don't know. I feel like guys, they need to be putting their best foot forward, especially mm-hmm. if they want to like be with you. Mm-hmm. That's what they telling you. Because it's different if you just fuck with somebody. I feel like you shouldn't have no type of expectations for them to like, you know, pay for mm-hmm. shit for you. Yeah, you say you want to fuck with me, prove it. Right. <laughs> yeah. Show me. Show me how bad you want to fuck with me. I just, uh, I, I really want that energy. Y'all, 2024, I'm coming with that energy. I'm like, okay, well, do it then. Yeah. Yeah, that's why one dude, this is one dude I'm talking to, and he he, he want to come over. I keep telling him, we're not, you're not coming in until we go out. Yeah. Yeah, because niggas could talk all day long. Action. We want to see action, action this year. Yeah. Do it. I've been wanting action. I wanted you to been do it yeah. years ago, but let's make 2024 that. Yeah. Let's make 2024 the year of execution. <laughs> Period. Kayla, you want to go into your topic? Kayla? Yeah, you're next. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm a little high, sorry. How do y'all feel about gatekeeping? Because y'all know me, I love to just share it all. Like, one for one for all. You talking about like gatekeeping your hairstylist? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, when people ask me something, I'll be like, oh yeah, this is who did it, blah, blah, blah. Okay, okay. so I, I really have, I see both sides. Like, I see gatekeeping because you don't want like. Sometimes uh, my clients will tell me like, you know, I don't, t- I don't let people know who I get my hair done by because I don't want the books to be filled up before I can get an appointment or mm-hmm. something like that. You that's know? how I feel. Okay, that's how you feel. But then on my end, it's like you holding out on money. You holding out on me, like exposure for me. Like it's like it's good work. They want to know who did it, and you just like. But then again, I get it because I get served. I get service by um other girls and stuff like that and they be booked the fuck up and they be mm-hmm. like damn i done told all my fucking clients mm-hmm. about her that's mm-hmm. why she booked up like but it's like i don't know because i also look at it like i'm sending my homegirl money like i'm putting money in her pockets i'm referring her i'm giving her exposure she did this fire like yeah go to her go to her because she's good she's talented mm-hmm. i want you to know but yeah i i get both sides because it's like damn but when i, I need my shit done because y'all probably gonna think I'm funny for this or wrong for this. I don't know. Y'all tell me. But like when Paris do my hair, I tag Paris because I know certain bitches Paris is not gonna do. Yeah. So I don't gotta trip. Paris not even gonna do your shit. Yeah. So I always tag Paris. I know Paris is real picky with her clientele. I never really knew about so, the hair community until Paris. And yeah. Paris, if she do not want to do your hair, she's, she's not. not gonna do it. So yeah, bitch, I can take her all I want. Promote her, bitch. If she don't want to do your shit, she's not gonna do your shit. So but, okay, <laughs> let's not. So, let's that's how, how I feel, feel when it comes to this one. Let's not make it though. seem like I don't pick and choose my clients. Like people, let's talk about people. It, book, like my- people book me like from all over. Like randomly, you could just book. You can book. You can book as long as you want to book. But if I know personally, like your name and stuff, and like. Like, we have a personal issue. Why would you book with me? I'm not. Yeah. I'm going to have, hey, love, here's your deposit. I don't know why you would book with me, knowing <laughs> we have personal issues. But here you go. Try something else. No, let's talk about it. Because hairstylists do pick and choose. Like, all these stories and shit about, like, oh, that she flaked on me. And then you have other people like, well, she knows she did my hair. No, they pick and choose. Y'all yeah. pick and choose. Yeah. Not saying favoritism. Client, they do have client favoritism. I have client favoritism when it comes to like, mm, say like I'm fully booked or whatever, but one of my regulars is like hitting me up like, bro, I need my hair done on goddamn. Like usually, oh, you squeeze her in. usually if I'm fully booked, I'll be like, girl, no, I'm going home. I'm booked. I'm tired. I'm just doing that. Like, but if like my regular hit me up like, girl, I need my hair done. I'm like, I got you, girl. Come. Like, That's understandable. Come, yeah. like, before my clients are at the end of my day, like, I'm going to put you in there, though. Like, I'm going to get you in there. I say that's the only favoritism I have personally. Like, I don't know. You show me love, I show you a lot of love. Like, mm-hmm. whenever you need it, the books is full, but you hit me up. Like, oh, I need an appointment. I'm sorry. Or I missed the link or whatever it is. Like, oh, like, my hair fucked up. Could you fix it again? Like, if you're my regular or a good client or, you know, you've been to me multiple times, we cool like that. I'm going to squeeze you in. I'm going to look out for you. But, like, like random people that hit you up, like, oh, my style is canceled on me. It's my birthday. Can you do my hair? No. <laughs> no. No. I feel like a lot of people like, will, like, be entitled. Like, They'll hit up, like, service providers really entitled. Mm-hmm. 
like mad if they're if they don't squeeze them in or like yeah they, they do no they be putting hella question marks in your dms like question mark, question mark. <laughs> bro when I'm i used like, to have bro, paris what the when fuck? i used to be Mark's. paris little uh when i used to be bro, like she paris used to be my whole assistant like doing her doing dms, DMs and shit, i was like, like girl these people just they fucking ask crazy. so many questions i'm like damn shit right here in your face policy like, right here bitch you still asking all these questions like yeah, I know that has but that's answer. rare in this generation people do not read they mm-hmm. do not read they don't like do y'all feel like hairstylists like like be selective with who they post on their pages? Yeah, yeah, Definitely. yeah. They yeah. exposed that one girl on Twitter for like being colorist. It was now like a, that's crazy. Being colors, yeah. Like she had all fair skin, light skin girls on her page, all like you know good, like that hair, like yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. And it was this one video where it was yeah. like her doing a dark skin girl's hair, but the cover photo was a light skin girl. Did yeah, you see that? I saw that. Crazy. As um, well. The only time I'm about to pick and choose, like, if I we taking a video or whatever, and you're not, you know, you're not giving, you're not, yeah. in, like, you look mad as hell. You just like off camera, you like, I like my hair this bomb as fuck. But some clients just be shy, like mm-hmm. they don't really want to take the picture. So I'm like, if it's not a good video, it's something I can't work with. I'm just not gonna post yeah. it. Yeah. Other than that, like, that's why it's, most of my clients is like real photogenic, and they be like coming ready for the camera they was like yeah i'm ready i know i'm getting my hair done i yeah. know we're about to take a video i want a cute video this is my thing how do y'all feel that. about that because when i go to my appointments i always look bummy literally and then i'll be seeing girls really dress up for their appointment because they know when they walk it out they got to be lo- it I'm makes like, sense I need, I need to do that i need That's to do that I i'm like i need to but start damn. Damn. i feel like no, i do, i don't agree with stylists that be telling you to come like Oh, you need to come done up because yeah, I'm about to take pictures. Like I, I don't Hold agree up. with that at all. Yeah. Requiring that is crazy. Yeah, like requiring that is absolutely insane. But I feel like some girls just do it and some girls just don't. Like some girls be in a comfortable ass clothes and be like, "Girl, I'm getting dressed when I go home." Yeah. And then type or I got plans or pin my hair up because I got yeah. plans later. Like it's and then it's some girls that's like, yeah, right after this hair appointment, I'm activated, ready for the day. Who want to go have drinks? Like they be ready. Yep. And then they, it's some girls that do it and some girls that don't. It's just like you gotta respect the fact that if somebody's telling you, I don't want to be on camera or I don't want a video. Like I like my hair, but I, don't, I wouldn't like to be on camera. You gotta respect that. This made me think about something else. How do y'all feel about going to service providers already washed and blow dried, and then you still gotta pay all this fucking money for the service? How do y'all feel about that? I hate that. Because I feel, I see that that's a thing like on social media. Like I gotta I gotta come wash and blow dry. Mm-hmm. I'm paying seven hundred dollars for some knowledge braids. Hmm. I feel like it should be the whole everything the whole thing, included, or at least like have it available. Like how y'all have, how do you guys have somebody that'll like wash and uh, blow dry mm-hmm. your hair at the shop? Yeah, I yeah. Like that, I don't. Some some people will be like, no, it's not. It's just not available. Yeah, it don't matter to me. I feel like um, every service you be you need a wash and blow dry. I don't require people to come wash and blow dry. Some people just do it on their own. People thinking people know how to wash their hair completely. Soon. Some pe- some yeah. people just like wash and blow dry their hair on their own, thinking it's gonna make the service go faster or something like that. Yeah. When in reality, if it's dirty, you're getting it washed, washed. again because I can't do the hair dirty. So yeah, it's up. To, I feel like that should be up to you. Requiring that is mm, unless you're in a situation like you know you in a suite. You it's it's different circumstances. Girls be in different circumstances sometimes. The sweep they in, don't have no sinks and shit. You know, they do fire ass hair. It's like a good location, good price for them, work mm-hmm. for them. Mm-hmm. And you got, you, y'all got you got to think about them too. Like sometimes it don't be on no, because I don't want to wash your hair. Yeah. It's sometimes it be on just because of the circumstances. I don't exactly. have a wash bowl in here. So exactly. I'm just trying to work with y'all while y'all work with me exactly. type. But yep. the ones are that, that are just refusing to wash your hair and uh, want you to come wash and blow dry and charging crazy. I don't know. That's them. Yeah. So, yeah, well, gatekeeping, I don't know. I just, I like my people. I choose my people, and when I want an appointment, I want to go. I just, I don't like the whole booked up shit, because bitches will really. <laughs> let's you get better into watch it. it. Let's get into it. You better watch it. Let's, let's get into it. You better <laughs> watch it. Like, you didn't even talk. Like, you can talk. Because you're going to watch. Don't, don't I just like to go to. To my service provider with no hassles. I want smooth sailing all the time. So now I got a book after hour of fee and shit. I and didn't I have even know that was a fee. $25 more. $25 more. What's after the hour? Five o'clock. After five o'clock. After five o'clock, it's an after hour fee. What is, how much so 
$25 extra oh. on top of everything. I'm like, girl, she gonna watch this because she watch. <sighs> okay, whatever. Well, see, this is the shit that I'm talking about. But you can just, don't be afraid to <laughs> just let it flow. That's what that's one thing. No like, one knows who you're talking about except the person you're talking about. Exactly, but, but I go to her. But I, she's gonna look, stab me in my eye. No, we we love your service. We love your service. But as a client, you know, sometimes it's a it's a it can be having to pay that extra fee. It's times it's hard. It's okay to and you admit know what? that. And you know what? Yeah. I don't. I don't want to discredit nobody's policy and procedure. I simply just don't have to go to you no more. Simple. There's other people that do lashes. There's other people that do hair. If I don't, if you don't agree with the policy, then I'm yeah. not about to bash you for it. Like that's what you want to do with your business. I don't have to choose to go to you. Simple. Mm -hmm. So, and I'm sure the, the service provider feels the same way, bitch. If you don't agree with my shit, then you can go elsewhere. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. So, are y'all like, are we gonna spend this whole year censoring what the fuck we say? No, I don't censor. It's what because I say. a lot of people are now tuning in. That's good. Tune the fuck. Hey. The thing is, but it's like, like the more me, people tune in, them. the more people gonna talk. Like you could have spent it. Like I ain't going to her again, so it don't matter. I'm going to someone who don't charge me after hour fee because now I get off late. Uh, so I'm not gonna. So then, right? I told her, well, I'll come at five thirty. That's still after hour. I said, what the fuck? It was. And it was your first time. No, no, I've been going been, to this girl. I don't know. See, stuff like that. That's like, a regular client. I'm a regular see, client. See, you. <laughs> see, yeah, stuff like that. Like my she regular. <laughs> like when it comes to like, like my like my regular stuff like that. That's the type of stuff I'm saying. I pick and choose. I be lenient yeah. on. I be like, oh girl, you a regular? I know you're coming. You know there. I'm I, gonna come. You I know see I'm you good every for damn it. month, girl. Come on, like it's cool. You got a new job. Like I already talked yeah. to my clients, so my client would have told me like. Girl, I got a new job, it. girl. I can't come at this time. I would, I would, I would work something out. This, she, is, this is a regular. She mm -hmm. Girl, because when we're sitting there laying down, she real tuned in. Like, we always have good conversation. But, like, she real strict on her policies. And I f*** with it. I do. I f*** with it because you're standing, standing on, standing on, your, on yeah, business. Yeah, you're standing on your business. She's standing on business. One time, okay, you pay the deposit through whatever, cash shop, whatever, Zill, whatever. Mm -hmm. Pay the rest in cash. So, one day I was running late from work. This, before I started this job. I said, hey, girl, can I just sell you? She said, no, I need cash. She said, I only cash, sis. Yeah, girl, you I too complicated to for me. Yeah, you too strict. So I, so I just got to go. <laughs> I just got to go. Love ya. My friend, love my ya. Friend, like, love ya. <laughs> Mwah, no boss. <laughs> <laughs> Mwah, no lashes. <laughs> no lashes. <laughs> No, bitch. No. So. Damn is really just. Going no, this through. is why we can't smoke this and do this world. shit because it's not professional business. This is so Best unprofessional. Ass. I, think, I, like this, I don't know. This is this is like chill. Like, this is so unprofessional. I got a blanket, y'all. Like, I'm cozy. I'm the, why do we have to be professional? Look at the Bobby Altop girl doing this shit in her fucking bed. Like actually, because because that's actually unique. Like podcast in your bed? That's different. With Drake? With Drake? You're in the bed with Drake? That's different. You say I, I was in the bed with Drake. We're chilling. We're chilling. I, Honestly, I, like, I, like, I like his. I, I like his little it. place. It's cool. I like, I like this, this little breeze. Mm -hmm. Don't be telling them this. We're not about to. Easily. I didn't say we was gonna drop it. I just said shout out. It's real affordable. Though. Girl, you could easily find this. Crop all this shit out. They <laughs> You are gatekeeping. Yeah, you gatekeep this. You literally keep money for I'm him. No, I'm gatekeeping. No, I'm sorry. When Lena kidding. was like, when we went to Lena and she was like, yeah, per mom, because we just need. No, I'm not telling people where you're at. No, y'all, because they. It's we can be, leave a Yelp review. You know how many people have. We can leave a review. You know yeah, people, yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do I'm, a star. I'm gonna make a Yelp account. Yeah. It's ghetto outside, though. I'm not gonna look at it. They have the. the we in LA for real. You've been warned. You've been warned. They have the <laughs> unsheltered people down there just yelling. The un <laughs> place that I go to, sometimes they have like little deals and stuff, but then for like sometimes when it's not the deals and I see them real prices and I'm like, shit, this shit is kind of expensive. Only thing I see really neck and neck like right now, like hair and lashes. Like I know, I yeah. know, I know people doing yeah. like three hundred dollar lash sets. I'm yeah. like, damn. Yeah. And then the exactly. the hair, the the hair, the the frontal install three hundred dollars. I'm like, damn, for a frontal install, my lashes to be the same price. That's kind of crazy. But yeah. yeah. That's the only things that I see like the same. Them them pedicures too. Them little acrylic pedicures. Mm -hmm. Them is high as hell too. You mm -hmm. pay like one something almost two hundred dollars on God. The other day I literally paid like eighty dollars mm. for a French tip pedicure. 
With two acrylic big toes. Well, that's cheap. If I would have got that, like it's one forty five. Where? For the pedicure with the acrylic toes and shit with the not design. All, when I used to go to Lena, I used to, I was paying like two hundred dollars. I can't even clip this. I was paying like two hundred for my nails and my feet. Excuse me. Yeah. Remember yeah. when I used to go to Lena? I used to like. I she mean, did her shit though. That's when I paid too. Cause I'm like, it I was. Like I thought like it was worth like, it like, though. Like after, like, really after you leave the nail shop. Oh God, I'm not gonna lie. The nail shop, it depends. If I'm getting some regular shit like little manicure, regular pedicure with the French tip, that's probably like a regular little two hundred dollars for the for the both. Um, if I'm if you getting stuff like a short set, acrylic big toes and stuff like that, on God, you are gonna spend like three something. Yeah, remember when full sets were twenty five dollars? Yes, twenty five dollars. Yes. But girl, yes. I remember when I used to really wear like double XL nails, and I was only paying like forty dollars. Yes. at the like, nail shop. Inflation is really crazy, the crazy design. And that's why I wear press ons. Right. <laughs> Honestly, I swear, I was wearing press ons before I got my nails done for my birthday. I'm like, this is the new wave. Honestly, I wanna, I wanna like what you what we were talking about yesterday about the lashes. Mm -hmm. You see them things on TikTok now, like where the girls are just placing it on there. My mm -hmm. friend, oh my god, my I just want to do that now. Yeah. That's what things are. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. Because it is so, and mind you, I just did it last weekend for New Year's Eve. That was my uh, first time doing it. Um, my friend had told me because the girl canceled my lash appointment. No shade, girl, but anyway, she canceled my lash appointment. So I was like, what the fuck? And then my friend was like, well, I got the TikTok lashes and she she be doing the fuck out of them. Like she be doing her shit like spikes and all. I'm like, yeah. oh my God. So she let me use them. And she showed me how to do them. And she was like, here, try. Girl, I tried. They were so easy. They was on for the next like three, four days. Like, yeah. I literally had to like lash removal them off. Like with the lash remover. They, they stay on, you go to sleep. I'm like, what the fuck am I about to pay for a lash for? So then I tried it again today. And I'm like, oh, I can really fuck with it. Like, if yeah. I really, if I yeah. sit here and really like do it, do it like myself and stuff, and get different lash trays to play around with yeah. the textures and curls, you could really do your own lashes. I'm That's just scared crazy. with the, the lash falling in my eye, in my eyeball. Nah, it's just like regular lashes. It's gonna burn. Don't that happen when you get your lash extensions? No, because you know, certain videos with the girls doing that, the piece oh, will like fall down while you're like trying to put it in, and it'll fall in your eye. It ain't nothing though. Like it rolled Ooh. off. I don't know, cause I be getting like lash sets where I get the bottoms and stuff. So you know, if you get bottoms, then you know that problem. You know when that lash get that in, your shit eye, in your eye, you know how that feel. That shit crazy. Hurt. But I don't care. They cute. I'm gonna keep putting them on. So it's just like I don't know. I feel like you already experienced it. It ain't. It ain't nothing. I feel like you could do it. Yeah. So try those before you go to a new lash shade. I'm seeing the link. Girl, I'm already going to a new girl. Oh. Well, yeah, when you when you, when you get time. Yeah. Because then you probably going to get a what feel. You yeah. How do you guys feel about service provider? Oh, my God. This bitch is high. Yeah. <laughs> what? See, this is This is no. what I'm saying. Like, that's why on the job, you don't go intoxicated. <laughs> I'm good. I feel like I, I'm know, twisted. <laughs> Drunk, high, twisted, twisted faded, faded. <laughs> high, twisted, faded, get fucked up, get fucked up. Get fucked up. DJ Kayla. Why you did it right on, like, right on the nail? Like, like what? You sound just like it. So how do y'all feel about exposing service providers when some shit goes left in your computer? Let me tell y'all something before y'all even answer. So I went and I got my eyebrows done yesterday. <laughs> I saw Wait, that shit. I, I asked you. No. Who? I'm shocked. What happened? I don't know. I'm like, I. Who I did you go to? Oh, I thought you went to Zero. I'm like a regular of hers, but I went to get my eyebrows shaped because I grew them out for two uh -huh. months. So I went and then she filled my eyebrows in at the end of the point. She was like, you want me to fill them in? And then I, I was like, yeah. Yeah, she be filling So in. when I walked out, it looked cool. But then last night, when I like took my makeup off and, and I washed, washed my face, it off. my eyebrows were uneven as fuck. Like, After you should, grew it out for guys. two months. Oh my yes. God. Let me show you guys. Put a little Ooh. clip right here. No. It yeah. happens sometimes. But I'm like, she, no. She could have at least said something, you know? Or I'm no, like, no, let me see. Me, me. <laughs> she forgot that to turn That's why she wanted to. No, she completely. That, this is a whole different mm -hmm. shape. 
That's why she wanted to fill them in. You should have said. I asked her to you make it said, there, but You should have like, said, "Let me see first. Why? Let me see first. Yeah. Right, you should have said, "Let me. Let me see. Like, why?" You I was just shocked because I'm like, Whoa. "What?" It so what's so she bad. saying? I text her. I don't think she's gonna reply to me. I'm not gonna lie. I really don't. But she usually does a good job. Like I regular. Like I'm. She's never fucked. I've been going to her for years. And I was like, Literally. Man. That's why I'm like, I'm gonna just tell her. Girl, she about to do my eyebrows. She would just fix it. If she don't, don't fix it by the time I go, I'm going to say something. I'm going to say, why you mess up painting eyebrows? Oh, yes. my God. <laughs> oh, my God. No. Are you going to fix them? No. <laughs> no, because we cool. Why you do that? <laughs> don't we do gonna that. See. We going to see if she responds. I sent to everybody to her, so I hope she ain't doing that. I Over here, like, maybe it's because I asked her to make my eyebrows a little thinner. I'm like, so she made one, one too thin. Okay, but yeah. So how do y'all feel about exposing service providers? I don't want to expose her. I've done it before. <laughs> Who you do that to? Girl, remember that one time I called you? It was for Valentine's Day, and I wanted my. Oh, leave? you did that. Oh, yes, I see how it's and, <laughs> and she blocked me. Yeah. That's it? Yeah, she blocked me on every. You know, how you could block on every account, whatever account oh. you go on. She blocked me on everything, so I can't even look at the bitch up no more. But yeah, she pulled some weird shit. Like I don't even remember, but. Took the deposit, okay, whatever. I pulled up to the appointment. Yeah. Bitch never showed up. Never showed up. Call her. She like, I got oh, yeah, the people in the shop. It was people mm-hmm. in the shop. It was like, it was yeah. a girl in the shop, right? Mm-hmm. Oh my god. By the grace of God, this girl was here, but I had to end up getting braids. So I was like, okay. But yeah, the girl like, oh my son. I I have my son. I still need to wait for somebody to come pick him up. Do that. I'll call you when I when I get an update. I'm like, okay. She's like, I should be there within like. 20 minutes okay whatever still nothing so i go in the shop i'm like hi i'm looking for i forgot her name and um she's like the girl looking at me like "Ooh," i said she do this she said yeah mm. she knew already what I, what the was going on because this mm. is what she do to her clients she don't mm. she don't show up she just don't show up she take your deposit and she just don't show up or she comes super fucking late mm. and bitches be wanting to fight her and she be she like okay bitch and don't want to fight bitches pull up to the shop they never want to do nothing. Never, never want to tussle and wrestle. So I went on social media because I was so mad. I'm like, bitches, fucking about to be Valentine's Day. Like, you supposed to do my fucking hair. Like, and yeah. So yeah, I went on Instagram and I, That's I like did what I did. Like, but then she blocked me, so you can't click the tag name. Yeah. So I was like, okay, bitch, whatever. Damn. But yeah. I have done that before, and with the tweet back in the day, that was I didn't. I was that considered me spo- exposing though? Tell me. No, I don't think that was considered. It's ex- okay. So when it comes when it comes to the exposing like of a hairstylist and stuff, I kind of look at it as like reviews. Yeah, it's reviews from people. You feel me? Because that girl had that experience, but it's gonna be another girl somewhere that's saying that's the best hairstylist to mm-hmm. me ever. You feel mm-hmm. me? Mm-hmm. She ain't never did me wrong. She ain't never, you feel me? So it's like that was your experience with her, and then this girl had experience. It's all it's all reviews, you know? Yeah. Collect all your data. Yeah. Like I don't, I don't in my timeline of doing hair, I have had like many bad experiences to where I'm getting exposed or something like that. <laughs> so I feel like if that's how you conduct yourself, that's the type of shit you should expect. You feel me? Yeah. You canceled on this girl on Valentine's Day. You expect her not to be mad, not refusing to give back a deposit when it's your fault. It's like, at sometimes you got to take accountability. You feel me? Like, because I'm not going to lie. If I don't feel like doing somebody here, I'm not going to give them the runaround or whatever. I'm going to yeah. say, I don't care if I'm just not there mentally. Like, girl, I'm going to tell you, hey, I'm not there mentally. Here goes your deposit. I don't know. I need to figure some shit out. I just can't do it. Yeah, like, and I know, like, um... Some people would consider like, oh, that's wrong of you. You feel me? Like, but you got to think we human too. Sometimes I do need that mental day and I, I didn't know I needed the mental day. You feel me? It just dawned on me. Like, and I'm like, I'm not into it. And I'm sorry. I can't, I can't do, I can't do what I love if I'm not there. So it's like, I did need that mental day. But then it is a lot of people that just lie to these girls. They just lie. They just make up lies. They never show up to the appointments. And I don't know, that's something wrong with them within themselves because why would you do that? Why would you want that name for your business? Why would you want that type of branding on you? Because did y'all see that thing on Twitter with that girl who did that to that girl appointment? And she was like, basically the girl, the, the provider was like, 
I came in contact with somebody with COVID-19, like oh, yeah. blah, blah. So she like, but I see you all up on Instagram in Miami with your friends at the club. That's crazy. That's <laughs> fucked up. You in Miami turning up. Then you want to tell the girl, then you want to tell the girl, why would you want to be in range with someone with COVID-19? Why do, why are you around people then? You telling me, why would I want to come up close to you? Cause you've been exposed to COVID, but you at the club. So why don't but you care about them on then? On top of that, she didn't want to give her a deposit back. You didn't even want to give her a deposit but why back. Why you think the deposit back is crazy? Why would you lie like that? Like, why would you even speak that into existence? Why would you want COVID on you? Like, or so I wouldn't even speak that type of shit on me. Weird. Like, I'm not finna, oh, my grandmother's sick and yeah. I can't do your hair. Bitch, I don't wish that shit on my granny. My granny is alive, well, and healthy. Ain't shit wrong with her. I don't feel like doing your hair and that's that. They need to come correct when they be talking to people. Like, keep it real. All that lying and stuff, like, you saying you got COVID and you're literally on your story in Miami is fucking crazy. Like, what the like you should have just told that girl I can't do you, I, girl. And they I, told her you can reschedule or, or ain't no come reschedule. Get the wig or you come know get the you wig. fucked up. Just give her her but money she still back. She has to pay the the rest of the money for the wig. And she's like, why would I pay you the money for? Oh, money? she paid for some hair. No, like, she didn't give her the deposit back either. She didn't give her the deposit back, and then she must have. It must have been for a wig. So she either she was like, give oh, me the wig. Oh, so you do half the money or something? Yeah, and it was that's like, fucked up. Yeah. She should get her money back. I think she spent two fifty. That's she not no deposit. Yeah, that's not a deposit. That's so, more than well, a deposit. Well, they came with a wig and the install. So, yeah. you know, it that's might... That's still a lot. So like it, $250 deposit? Well, you don't know how much it was, though. But, okay, so that... that but I thought it, it was like supposed to be 650 It was like 650 for the room, like, in total. If it was 650 in total, it makes sense that she's asking for a larger deposit yeah. just because if she has the hair on hand and she, like, sets the hair aside, you know, for your appointment when you book... Like, I'm holding this for you, you feel me? So it's yours, and I'm just going to get the remaining of the balance for it on your appointment day. Like, it makes sense when you're getting hair included in the services, but some people do it, some people don't. Like, when I include hair in my services, I don't. It's still the same $25 deposit. I don't care if you come or not. The hair is going to get sold. It's going to somebody else to book for it. Like, yeah. I don't want that because I'm not trying to be... If anything does happen, you know, knock on wood, ain't no wood around here. If anything does happen and I do need to return your money or something, like, I'm not about to give you 250 back. And why do people, like, why are people, like, so, I don't want to give you the, your deposit back? I don't know. What that's, is that thing, that like, that you want to keep my, because they, they'll, like, belittle it and be like, girl, your funky little $20, well, give it back. That's like Give it back then if it's funky. <laughs> <laughs> well, I should say you fat funky. Yeah, fat I don't funky. know. That's crazy. I'm quick. Like if I think she probably just needed the money for like her little Miami trip. I don't know. That's crazy. I'm it's quick, not about though. needing. She used it to buy the, the flight. If I'm it's canceling gone. on you, I'm literally. I don't. I didn't even say nothing yet. I sent the money back to whatever refund it needs to go to. And then I sent the message, hey, love, I won't be able to do it. Yeah. You already got your money back. It ain't shit to talk about. I can't do it. Like, Paris is good for that. She will like, send you your money back. I'm not tripping. That's that's you. That's your money. You rightfully, yeah. I can't do it. You getting it yeah. back. Here you go. Yeah. Like, there's nothing to argue about. There's because nothing to... Mm -mm. The girl that I went to that pulled that shit on me, when we was talking in the shop, when the girl was, the other stylist was doing my braids, she was like, She's the type of girl, like, she'll take your deposit, you ask for it back, she's not sending it back because she done already spent it. Yeah. She don't got it. Uh -huh. So, that's why she's not sending it back, because she already done spent the shit. Like that girl. Oh my she gosh. spent that shit on her plane ticket to Miami. Yeah. Okay, y'all have to oh realize gosh. that hairstylists, we work for ourselves. It's some with very bad, poor money management that's literally working Every day, client to client, because they, they have no backup plan. They have no savings. They're mm -hmm. not doing anything outside of hair for the money. Like, they literally do this $150 client today, and that's all the $150 she got in her pocket right mm -hmm. now. And, yeah, she need all of it because she don't have a plan B or C. Like, it's just strictly that. It's a lot of hairstylists that's like that. Mm -hmm. Then you got hairstylists that's been in the game a little longer. You feel me? They got yeah. their hands in other stuff. They smart with their money. They got savings. They got all kind of stuff. And, the, and they treat their business like an actual business. Mm -hmm. So you got to be like, I feel like, not like that, but it be y'all fault. You look at this page. <laughs> like, no. You're picking to go to these people. What do you mean by that? <laughs> You're choosing to go to these people. You go to their Instagram. You go to whatever site they got. You looking at their work. But you, no, they, they don't. It. You 
can't see this. They be deleting it. Wait, how is it my fault? Because when I go to your page, I'm not, I'm not seeing where you're, where you're taking people, depositing, canceling shit. I don't know that until I get in that step. Okay, let's let's not act like we don't ask around about people. Or ask like our you friends said. around. If I ask around, if I hear one bad review, yeah, she fucked me up. Okay, I'm cool. I'm cool. I don't but care. Like but like you that's said, everybody me, has like. different has, has different experiences with different hairstyle with hairstylists. Exactly. Like I told you, if I ask around and I'm like, it's like more than one bad review, I'm like, I'm cool. Could, but it's just like how you and the, the so if the I say girl, you had a good experience and she could, you could tell somebody blah blah blah, but then Peyton. Had her experience. She had, had good, she no, she's had, had, good, experience but good experience too. But we're saying, what if you didn't have no experience and she referred you to her? And that was your experience. And that was your experience, what you just got, your results right now. Mm. Then what? No. Okay, yeah, in that case, that's a totally different case, but I'm talking about... It's the about, same case. That's what we're talking about. <laughs> no. Wait, what? what? No, no, because I'm talking about, like, if you ask your homegirls, like, hey, y'all been to this hair, this uh, eyelash girl, y'all been to her or whatever, and two of them was like, let's just say coincidentally, like, they all have been to her or experienced going to her, and two of them was like, yeah, she did my lashes real bomb. She did them on this day. Da-da-da. You said you liked them. Okay. I was like, oh, okay. I did like those. I'm going to go check her out. And then the other girl hit you up. She was like, yeah, she did my lashes. Like, they was cool, but they was whatever. So like, you I didn't go, like who them. You they go fell with? out. And... That so you just got all your reviews. So you go to her last page, you looking at your stuff, you still decide to book an appointment. That's on you. Harris, you got your 50-50. That's, 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 that's on like you. you. That's like you and Peyton, and I'm you looking chose for that. I'm looking for a lady to do my eyebrows. And y'all both like, yeah, she did real good. Blah blah. I will say, okay, I'm gonna go to her. I go to her, bitch, and my shit's fucked up. Then what? Because both of y'all told me she was good. I that's got two damn. two good reviews. Um, I got two good reviews. Fuck it, let's throw Rihanna in there. Rihanna went to her too. I got three good reviews. Everybody is not gonna. But, have but wait, let's say you. Choice. Let's say both of them had good reviews, and I said she fucked my shit up. Who you gonna go with? The two uh, good reviews, right? But then you go and she fucked your shit up. Okay, it's like okay, yeah. Man, <laughs> but you, good. but she, but you <laughs> told her. But you told you right. told her though. So at that point, so you're, at you're that saying, that's what I'm saying. Like, at that point, when the, when the other person comes in yeah. and they tell you you pick your you pick your poison. So that's in in the case that you were saying where you got all good reviews and then you went. And just so happened your shit was fucked up. I don't really know. What you don't know to what say. to say. Huh? Yeah, yeah. I don't really know why. <laughs> why your shit fucked up? Like that happens. That's, the same, that's what I'm saying. Like that happens though, good or bad. Like yeah, shit. It just be different for different people. Like and you said that earlier. You said that everybody can have different. Everybody has different experiences. Yeah, everybody has different experiences. But y'all, y'all are saying like bash the like bash the people. If no, I'm not gonna say her. If you like, had the bad experience, but I'm saying. How could you bash them? Like, not how could you bash them, but like, say you got your good reviews and you got your bad reviews and you was one of the persons that got your shit done bad. Now you on the internet like, this bitch fuck my shit up. Well, it depends fuck on my shit up. No, 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 because it depends on the situation. It depends on what it is. Like, Peyton didn't go on social media and bash this girl. She didn't, but she didn't like her results either. I don't Outside think it's to the point where you should her. go bash her on social media. I'm not going to bash not her. In a, it, their situation is not that bad. Oh, canceling my appointment on Valentine's Day. I'm yeah, so exposed. that made me want to... Yeah. And then you, how you was moving in my group, in my in my text, you was just moving funny with it. So I was just like, okay, girl, you really trying to play. You trying yeah. to play. This is what you do. Talking about, I'm already yeah. in Carson, right? Well, she was playing. Games Her shop was, was in like, Carson. She's talking about, well, can you just come to my house and get it done in Inglewood? I just left Inglewood to come to Carson. Now you tell me come back to Inglewood. No, I'm not doing that. And then I don't know because that's a crazy situation. Like you giving me the runaround. You lying. You're lying. I'm just not getting my hair done all this time. You're lying. I could be looking for other resources. Girl, like, not I even to know. mention. So the girl that ended up braiding my hair, she calls her. She's like, "Where you at?" She like, girl, she there? She was like, yeah, she's here. Like, she, your client's waiting for you. She's like, oh, tell her I'll be on my way. Girl, in the car, music blasting in the background. But you're with your kid. You have your son, though. You have to wait for your mom to come to the house to pick up your son, and then you could be on your way. Hmm. So, yeah, bitch, you got to I, – I had to expose Try you. somebody. Get somebody then else to that's do what, it. After I exposed it, then, like, two people reached out. I was like, girl, I could have been told you that. I said, oh, maybe I should have well, mm. asked around, huh? I should have asked around. In 2024, you got to just make a post that anybody that's got their hair done. That's different, too. <laughs> Me on post Send, like, your you reviews. didn't ask around, <laughs> and they, you was just trying somebody out. I was just out. trying somebody new. Yeah, that's di- I don't know. I, I, I think it's all 
just case by case. Yeah. Because everybody got their different like experiences. I think everything is case by case. And I feel like if you are a stylist that get exposed. You know, you know, which clearly this is routine. Maybe for you should you want to like better you your your business. Maybe this oh, should take yeah. take this as like constructive criticism. We about to get into our um, advice column. Yeah, Ooh. they've been sending us stuff all like every day. There's like emails, y'all. I see them. I'm and like, I was going through our DMs. We we got a couple more. We got a couple. Lit. Kayla be okay. responding to them. Oh, I just be, she'd be responding to them because I'd be like, why are they respond? I'm like, what are they talking about? I'd just be like, like or if, because sometimes like, I need clarity or something, or I'd be like, thank you for if your it's submission. If it's not clear, then I'm not reading it. Send clarity. And that's why, <laughs> and that's why I'm the one responding because On I want to be able to give everybody an opportunity to, you know. I'm not responding. Make sure it's clarity because I'm reading them before I come here. Anyway, we finna get into some of y'all questions, stories, all that. So make sure y'all continue to send those in. Let's get into this. This girl said, hey, y'all. First off, sending y'all love from Alabama. Okay. Mm. Country bunking. <laughs> Country bunking. <laughs> <clears throat> so I'm 19. I've been dealing with this guy for over a year. He's 22. But we aren't in a relationship. But we haven't done relationship things. And, well, he started to come back into my life more recently. And things... And the thing is, he was my first, you know. I guess like first he was virginity? Her first, yeah. Okay. She lost it to him. But I just don't know if I should keep this going. If he's like made it known like he didn't want a relationship when we first started talking. But now it's been a year and I haven't said anything else about a relationship. But he hasn't either. But now I just feel like I'm wasting my time. What should I do? Leave him. Yeah. Yeah. He's not showing you what you, he's not giving you what you want. And at this point, you're blocking your blessings from your future man. A year Waiting with for him no to get his shit established anything yeah. is crazy. Yeah, you you know you wasting your time. Yeah, but I will say when you sometimes your first be like sometimes you be, you be connected to them. Yeah, you, you do. do. You, you do. Because I was you know y'all know me. I was you, stuck for a good do. like seven. Yeah. Seven you, um, you do. But like seven months. Seven years. You're what? It took her seven years to get over some dick. Months? Seven years I don't years know why you crazy, thought that bitch. was... She yeah, meant I think months. Yeah, like officially, officially, officially stopped dealing with each other in, what, 2022? Whoa. Or 20, yeah, yeah, 2022. That's just like two... That's like literally last year because 2024 just kind of kicked in. So, Kayla, that's crazy. You're exposing yourself. No, y'all knew that. <laughs> You're telling the truth now. No, y'all knew that. Y'all knew no, that. I thought it was way I longer thought it was way longer... That. Who? You said 2022? I haven't had sex all year. This bitch. Bro. <laughs> she got on my fucking nerves. Bro. Bitch, gonna, bitch gonna go home and the boy gonna be there and she gonna be with the kid. With the kid. <laughs> she gonna start making Step cheesy off. ramen and shit. <laughs> <laughs> bitch gonna be making cheese. I love cheesy ramen. <laughs> The baby do too. No, he ain't. He ain't. <laughs> the baby is. What not. is your problem? The Watch baby it. not gonna like yeah. her house. Clocky. She ain't no snacks. What they say? Shout out. What he, the? He gonna watch. What the? And don't fuck? and don't don't delete it. <laughs> but yeah, the girl. My guy, my guy. <laughs> Please, can we stop? <laughs> We're doing advice right now, okay? Look, this is why you don't smoke. This is why yeah, we're too high. No, I'm not that high. I'm, I'm here, but girl, leave that man, leave that nigga alone. What the fuck? It's 2024. I know it's like hard. Okay, I know it's hard. I just feel like at a certain time, if you've been dealing with him for a year. Like, how many months is it that you guys feel like okay, we're something serious? I'll say by like the. About a third month. Yeah, three months. Three months. I'm like, okay, we we kind of established I something. I like, three months. I feel like three months we can start maybe exclusively talking. Exclusively to each talking. Other. That's what I'm saying. Like, like we're, dating. We're talking. Dating. You can, we kind of know if we want to deal with each other or yeah. date each other. We kind of know by three months. Okay, I like this guy. How long you need? A year? Because that. <laughs> who? The girl. The girl. Not <laughs> the girl. <laughs> No, you talking to your friend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like, I feel like six months. Six months? Okay. Oh, my God. Like, I feel like on, like, bro, by the sixth month, I know exactly what the fuck I'm, like, I'm not walking into that seventh month without 
with any type of confusion. Like, I'm yeah. dead ass. Like, I feel like three months is a little, like... That's not how I fall in love too fast. Like, yeah, like... I think six months is a little like no because I'm not saying I love you on the second date that you want to if you want to fuck with me. Insane, but it's like no, I'm saying no, no, no. I'm saying for y'all to like lock it down, like okay, this this, we're locking it down, like six months. But I feel like at the three month mark, there should be some type of. I don't know. I'm, I'm not, not expecting about to you to deal be my boyfriend no, by three months. Yeah, I'm not about to deal with nobody who I know is well, doing all kind of shit and stuff like that. We're exclusively talking. We're dating. dating. We're dating. Let's don't have sex with anyone else. Let's take That's what I'm, out of our vocabulary. That's what I'm saying. Please. Like facts. Like okay. Like at that point, you will know. Like y'all dating for real, for real. Yeah. And then come around time, the six month mark. It's like it needs to be something. So what is it? Yeah. Because we're not gonna be dating for all this time like we're yeah. not just gonna be dead but it also so. is a case by case thing like i feel like we have a problem of rushing into things and there shouldn't be no time on on love like yeah whenever it's meant to happen it'll happen yeah because everybody's time frame is different when they like just because like how do i say Ugh, my brain i could date somebody faster than you do and then it's like y'all can still have a great relationship if that yeah. if, is that does that make sense but y'all connection Everybody's, may just be stronger. And it's like, y'all yeah. sometimes you know. And it's like, okay. Because people get married quick in a month. Yeah. People just get married. So it's like, okay. And, and they last. Some people last. And they only know each other for a month. So I don't know. Everybody's yeah. just different. So it's like, time maybe him. he's not in a rush. But it's like, also too, if you're not satisfied in it, like if you're not happy and you want something and he's not giving it to you, then you do have to leave. Like, why waste your time? You're young. I feel like it's a that. feeling when you know, you know. You know. That's when you know. Like, see if y'all met in a month. Like, I feel like I it's a, a lot feeling. Of times. I feel like it's a Same. feeling. Like yeah. when you know, you know. When you yeah. know you're bullshit and you're just bullshitting. But people, by a year, you can know. If you you're know you're bullshit, and that's why she's sending that right. advice because she she doesn't know. So if you're feeling iffy on it, then maybe you have your answer right there in your face. Yeah. Facts. You questioning it. Yeah, and that's why I just keep saying, you know, take shit for face value. What people show you what it is, is exactly that. Yep. And yeah. when you see yourself putting and investing more time into someone than they are into you, then you need to really put on your big girl panties and get the fuck up and stand on ten toes and go find a man that's going to treat you the way you need to be treated. Yep. Yep. So that's our advice to you. You already questioning it. That's why you sent it. So the answer is right. in your face. Yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. I'm lit. What's that next one? I lost the next one is a good... <laughs> okay, y'all, this is interesting because I really thought our audience was all young, but we actually have an older lady. I realize, I don't know if I need to Rhiannon, back. I don't know if I've been blocking Rhiannon. Peyton, get What up. you mean, what the older? F- <laughs> Peyton, oh, bro. <laughs> what the fuck? That's not professional. <laughs> no, Peyton, get up. Get up. <laughs> Come on, your no, bro. Come on. Okay, hey, beautiful ladies. First off, I love your podcast, the YouTube vlogs, hot boxing, all that. It helps my work day go easier. Y'all crack me up, and your friendships are one of a kind. Don't ever change that. Okay, well, I will try to keep this as short as possible. I'm in my 40s, but would like to get some thoughts on this. I inherited some money. My husband of 15 plus years has worked off and on throughout. We have been through hell and back. He finally got a career going and does contribute to bills, etc. However, I just feel kind of used. Every vacation or anything I plan, I have to pay. Sometimes he gives me, he, sometimes he gives when he can, I guess, but 90% of the time it's all on me, especially more now that he knows I got it like that. So I don't plan anything anymore because it will all be on me. He didn't get me nor my son any Christmas gifts. He never does for any occasion. He doesn't ever tell me he thinks I'm beautiful or any nice comments as comments we as women sometimes like to hear. He is a typical caveman type where the woman does it all for the men. Over the years, he has changed some because as I get older, I stop putting up with stuff. He have gone through physical, emotional, all kinds of stuff. But for four years straight, we have been okay. I see some change in him. I guess my question is, should I really continue feeling like my money is just my money or ours? I just feel like he always says we, but it's more like me. Doing the most for us all the time. I really don't know if this is love. I just think that. The years mask it all, and it's more of a comfort thing. I really don't know what love really feels like. I do know that women turn me on more than men. I have kissed a woman before, and one has gone down on me. I was too drunk to know how I felt about it, but I know watching a woman turns me on more than a man does. Mm -hmm. I know it's all over the place, and my 
questions aren't too clear. I just want to, I just feel like I deserve more. But he does a lot around the house. He has never cheated on me, but I just don't know. If I leave him, he gets somewhat psycho and will get half of all I got. Just confused. Sorry it was longer than I anticipated. Take care. That was really long. Nah. Let's unpack that. Okay, she's a 40 year old woman. She's been in a marriage for 15 plus years. How old is her hubby, she say? No. It don't matter, but 15 years is a long time. Clearly, he's that's, probably around her age. 15 years. And a is, half. 15 years of marriage is crazy. Um, Divorcing. When you first started. Oh my God. Uh, <laughs> when you first started saying, like, oh, he pays for all the bills and everything, but when I want to go on trips, I was kind of. My first initial thought was, okay, well, maybe 50 50, you know, he does this and he takes care of the expenses, but. No, she said he just started contributing. Now that yeah. he got his career, first she was paying for everything. Now then his career. Wait, are you sure? She his, was paying for. He was paying his, for she was. His career got on steady, and he started contributing to yeah. the bills and stuff. Sometimes he gives when he can, but ninety percent of the time it's all on me. Like, is that for the trips though, or for the rent? She didn't say she anything said about bills. rent. Oh, okay, bills. You know yeah, what I'm whatever. Yeah. Either way, it goes. She feels like she's the one spending the most money in a relationship. When they go on vacations, he's not putting nothing in. When they go out to eat, he's probably not paying. She feels like it's her. Is Bas it because he can't or mm -hmm. he's just not doing it though? Basically, I feel like you should leave him. I feel like you're you're 40, but I don't think 40 is like old. Like I feel yeah. like you can still live life. If you want to go experience a woman, I feel like you should take your money, experience life, and go experience a woman. Yeah. Do stuff that makes you happy. You've already wasted 15 nah. years of your life feeling unloved and he's not even showing you small gestures like but it's hey, hard to give just, just throw like, away 15 years I just, I disagree. Uh, it's not like, it's not hard it's the comfort like she said the comfortability you have with somebody after 15 years i could only imagine it's not if you really want it for yourself though you have the money to do so yeah. you need to go experience life on your own you i can, think it's deeper than money though like if 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 they're They've been in a marriage for fifteen years. If they're having if they're having issues where money is is a bump in the road for them, then they need to sit down as a as a husband and wife and figure and communicate like communicate and figure out what's going on with the finances instead of instead because it also sounds like you're not. I don't know. Maybe she is or maybe she's not. But it's like, are you expressing that you know money is starting to become a problem? Well, I'm pretty sure she knew what she got into it because she said, she never said like, oh, she required him to have a job and stuff. She said yeah. before his career got afloat, she was already doing everything. I'm pretty sure she know what type of predicament she mm -hmm. got in after being in it for so long, all these years. Then he got his career on steady. He started contributing when he can. Mm -hmm. She's still doing majority of the work. So, it sounds, but so I'm pretty that, sure though. she knows and is not complaining as much about the finances because she knows what she's gotten herself into. But, that, so but like, maybe her but deep desires is just wanting a it's woman. Just like, it's just like, maybe. yeah. But why not? But that's still, you're in a marriage. So why not express that? Why aren't y'all communicating? Maybe back then you were dealing with it because you were suddenly get on his feet. But now the situation is, is he has a job and he pays when he can. Why aren't y'all addressing that? It's a problem. I yeah, feel like I feel like instead you of, also communicate with she, your partner. She didn't for 15 say years. the relationship was cool. She said they've been cool for about four years. Yeah, out of the fifteen, yeah. they've been cool for yeah. four. But for I'm four pretty years, sure it's been okay. plenty money arguments and plenty of discussions. Well, of, we don't know. Baby, I got it now, or baby, I don't have it this time, or. Can you front it? And since he knows about the inheritance, he know what the fuck the money looking like. So he like, yeah, maybe we can do that. But knowing the we is coming out of her pocket, she she's just thinking like, oh, yeah, you saying we could do that because it don't affect you. Nigga. Yeah. You're not buying shit. You're not paying for shit. So, yeah, you can make this plan, but you're not paying for it. Yeah. So it, it don't affect you. It's affecting her. That's why she's yeah. getting tired of it. And her question is, should she feel like her money is just her money or theirs? That's Hers. your money. That's your money. You inherited that money. That's, that's your, your money. money. That's your, but, 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 but you know married. what? You are you're married. married. It is ours. You're you're married. Like, so. And that's what I'm saying. Like it's, it's something like they're they're missing a point of y'all. You not communicating that this money is like it's the fact that it's still an ongoing problem means that something's not being communicated, and you're not letting this man know that. In y'all marriage, y'all may have the greatest love, but this is a problem, and and we need to get this under wrap and. That's the problem with in, in today's time. Marriage don't last. 
Yeah. I don't think she's not. Something happened to people run. I don't think she's not like facing the reality, the reality of it, because she said, "Leaving him, he would get what I have." You know, yes, half she, of what she has. Yes, she knows the consequences that's gonna come behind leaving him. But that's it's why you should have signed a prenup. Yeah, it's just about like yeah. you know, do Add they a have prenup. a do yeah. do they have a prenup? So it's like yeah. if they and don't. When I get married, I'm gonna get a prenup. But that's a top. That's a, a, a real sticky topic for. Married people. Well, how do y'all feel? Do y'all think y'all want a prenup? I'm getting a prenup. I, want a I prenup. feel like y'all want one. What is a prenup? Pretty much. It's if just we pre- divorce, you can get half of what I have. Just if I don't, if I sign a prenup, then all the, what I have is mine and you can't get shit out of it. Anything, you have is yours. anything yeah. before the marriage is yours. Yeah. Anything before the marriage. Anything during the marriage that y'all have done and joined together is y'all split that. But let's say if you inherit something and you get a prenup, when y'all get divorced, he wouldn't get any of your inheritance. You know? I'm definitely going to get my, I, regardless of, of money, I'm going to get a prenup because I want to protect what's mine. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like my assets, you know? So a print, I feel like, and that's something that it is a sticky topic. But yeah. All right. Gotta, so we what? had a little um, quality change because the battery died, guys, but we still holding in strong for that. It's always right? something with us. One day we're going to get it all right. Oh, one day is going to be all together. One day. Soon. Okay, Maybe. ending advice for this girl. Okay, miss, I'm going to call you auntie because you're 40, my auntie. So, auntie, I'm going to tell you this. From youngin to OG, I believe in y'all need to, y'all need to get back into Christ and y'all need to pray. Y'all need to pray and y'all need to bring God back in your situation and figure out How do we pass through this hurdle? Because I really believe in marriages and I feel like money should not be the reason why y'all divorce. I don't know the situation. It may be very deeper than what you explain, but pray. Pray for y'all marriage. And when y'all got married, y'all made a bond. So stand on that. And if it's really worth the divorce, then do what you got to do. But pray on it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I feel like you should divorce him and just, you know, I know it's going to take like half of your money and half of a lot of things, but I feel like you should live your life. You spent so many years feeling the way you feel. Did she say they had a kid? She said she has a son. He, he, she said that he didn't buy her son Christmas or her Like that's Christmas ridiculous. Her money. Open up an a, account for your son and mm-hmm. put your money in it to the side and then divorce so him. So I wonder if the son is from a previous dude or is it their kid? Because she didn't, she didn't like elaborate on that. I'm hoping that it's from There's another There's a lot that needs to be debriefed. Yeah. yeah. Questions that need to be There's a lot know, of things that should be filled in with I just want you to start living. I need you to get out this situation. So yeah. yeah. Be happy. I'm, I'm rooting for the best. We hope the best for you in your situation. Maybe our advice wasn't the best because, I mean, you're kind of more experienced. None of us are married. Well, none of us are married. We never really and been two of through us that. Not a man. Well, yeah. Just cut it here. No. <laughs> like, no. Oh, my God. <laughs> Are we drunk or high? I don't know. Just cut uh, it here. I just, we just wish the best for your situation, boo. Yes. Okay. So thank you guys for all the love and support. Y'all really been coming in strong. Yes. Um. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you guys haven't already. We're almost to 20K. Ooh. Roll to 100 When do we get a plaque? What? 100K. See, okay. what I tell you, I said when we get a plaque. Kayla said, said she wants to keep the plaque no. if we get when no. we get one. Yeah. No. Y'all, we wouldn't no. be here if it I wasn't think y'all my are idea. Be no. We wouldn't be here if it wasn't my idea. We wouldn't be highly official you gonna... to come up with the name. I think it'll be really nicely displayed in my home. No, I really will We'll talk about it later. Mm-hmm. So make sure y'all keep sending when us. When we get e- it. Make sure y'all keep sending us emails and DMs. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, I don't this know why I cut you off high. like that. Take us out. Okay, come on. Okay. I hate when they do that. Let's be so for real because I got to pee. <laughs> I'm about to get up and walk off. All right. <laughs> Make sure y'all keep sending us emails and DMs at our uh, email at highly official. What? Y'all. Continue to send in y'all advice into highlyofficialpod at gmail.com. Make sure you send them your DMs to <laughs> underscore highlyofficial. Follow us on TikTok at highly.official. And we also on Twitter now at underscore highlyofficial. We appreciate you. Shout out to Protect Our Baddies. 
Y'all, let's take it out. No, we're not even done. Make sure y'all rate us on Apple and Google Podcasts. Oh, yeah. And Spotify Podcasts. Uh, yeah, make Donate sure you leave us below. a rating. Donate down below. Donate. Nate down below. Donate. Or just like we this video. Need. Hold on, Monday. And comment yeah. down oh. below. Make sure y'all come back in two weeks for our next episode. Our topic is social media. Check us out. <laughs> Here Thank you. Yeah. Okay, babe. Let's go. I have <laughs> to pee. Bye, y'all. See y'all in the next episode. And we out. And we out.